Hey there, Grimjack back again, and I want to start off by thanking my viewers, those of you that have stuck with me so far, through that incredibly horrible audio that I was putting out on my videos. I finally figured out what the challenge, what the problem was, and it should be solved now. It should actually sound like, oh, a person talking rather than a program not catching all of the audio. <laughs> okay, so I have been very busy since the last episode, and a couple of things I want to talk about before I continue on with um, the regularly scheduled program. Uh, I did die once. I was killed doing one of my little experiment videos, and it turns out that there was a single block right underneath here that was a spawnable location. I've expanded things out a bit. I'm going to show you as a quick walkthrough what it is that I have been doing. Um, upstairs, off of the factory, yes, there is a second smell tree over here. So let's go take a quick look at what that is. This is my gear production. So what's happening is you can't run... Oh, I've still got the clock here. <laughs> let's make it go away. There we go. Um, and did I just... I almost did, so I didn't. So let's put that back. Yes, I put covers over the top of my smelteries because if there's no material in it uh, cooking, then mobs can spawn in it and you get blood inside, which will slow down and halt production elsewhere. This smeltery is eight, is four tall internally and two wide, so it will hold eight blocks of material. And this it has the sole purpose, automatic function of creating gears for me. I have a chest up here that I throw the material in, it just drops down, dumps in, cooks, this clock right here, this is an old style redstone clock. The redstone torch triggers the, the, the faucet and at the same time it triggers the repeater which comes around, throws some power on and turns it off for a moment. So it ends up as an endless cycle and that basically allows this to automatically continually pour gears the redstone clock doesn't work with a faucet in that scenario. So upstairs it looks something like this. Uh, I believe I've already shown you that I have expanded the lava production by putting in another set of crucibles. I also made myself some energy, hardened energy cells just to start tapping some of this extra energy that is capable of being generated. And we're going to go up here. I did a little experiment with um, my sieves and the hammer. Those are the red versus blue uh, automation experiments. This room is going to grow. It is not large enough for my other tooling such as the uh, induction smelter and the Oh, magma crucible and the fluid transposer, all of those need to go in here as well. So I put a little sign here, four materials in, dump them in, and it'll put a, output some gears. So I went ahead and poured some ahead of time. I've been using them periodically. And I also took and added a set of nine barrels, sorting barrels. So when it sorts and gets dust, it does not automatically send them to the smeltery anymore. I have more than enough materials at the moment, and the minute I feel like I'm starting to get low, I got 328 blocks of iron. I'm kind of set there. Um, silver, 41 blocks. Uh, shiny, 16 blocks. That's, my, I think, my lowest of the base materials. Uh, I've got bronze, 297 blocks of aluminum. So as you can, as you can see, I have more than enough for right now. And I changed out this to being a sorting chest, so that way when the uh, dust gets compiled, it automatically puts it right up into the sorting chest, which I don't need access to from the other side. And let's see. I have more or less sorted out what's going on with my mob farm. 
I am definitely producing uh, lots and lots of stuff, and I still hate bats. And I'll probably end up changing out this strong box with one of the com uh, the compressed storage, which I have taken care of and gotten into the system. Oh, I have some flower petals that I can turn put away. And none over here, but I can get rid of the carrot and the potato. All right. Now, as you recall, one of the things that I had mentioned early on was Beef Wellington. Talking about how tofu made a wonderful little substitute for it. And the big challenge for that was getting, <clears throat> excuse me, was getting the meats together to make your beef wellington and that's where having the tofu come, came in and i have a few stacks of firm tofu which is all that's needed along with dough which is needed and i need to make a mixing bowl for that actually let's look that up and i need dough i need the mixing bowl which is four planks and a stick. I'll make that right now. It's also one of the quest items that I have yet to uh, have yet to get to. Okay, so those can no longer be combined to make plank back. And we'll take that. There's my mixing bowl. Yes, you're about to witness me making my very first beef wellington, which is going to be kind of awesome. And here we go, we go there, 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 and there. I'm going to make five of those. And that, and move that up there. And let's see, I don't have, well, yeah, let's just throw it on the ground. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little bit of dirty dough. <laughs> All right, I need spinach. I need my tofu, and what was the last item I needed for that? Uh, mushrooms. Oh yeah, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Guess what? Mushrooms suck. <laughs> you, in order to grow them with Agricraft, the room has to be dark. So I said that's not good enough, and I decided to take advantage. I, I moved my tree farm because I was tired of, of coming over here every two to three minutes to fix the axe. So I put in a harvester over here. And I threw a, an iron upgrade, so it gives me a three radius increase from the base three. So since it's the radius, you're increasing at three, that takes it to nine across. I started off with a uh, six across, or sorry, seven across tree farm. And th this thing had way more trees than this couldn't keep up. It just wasn't even close. So I stepped it down to five um, and five i'm still getting more there are times when i look over here and there's just like seven trees over here being hacked to pieces but since the harvester still works on a nine by nine range i decided to make oh foo i didn't want that okay uh make myself a little mushroom farm i have an aqueous accumulator dumping water into an oak barrel that is surrounded by mycelium so it will continue as it turns from water into which water, it will spawn mushrooms around the outside and then the harvester will collect them. And down below, I have a quest delivery system, which I will show you directly. Uh, quest delivery system down there, right there. That is basically, it's blank. You can pump anything into it and it just acts like a void jar, um, a void pipe. And so this is an endless cycle of water turning into, my, uh, into which water, creating mushrooms, being harvested over here. And this has only been running for, oh, 20 minutes-ish, maybe longer. Whoops, don't want it. I want to leave. Okay, where'd they go? Oh, here they are right there. Oh, okay, good. Ha. All right, lock it, lock it, lock it lock it and yes as you see i have uh, i'm getting large quantities of material even from the small little farm and i'm actually the mushrooms are now no longer the gating factor i think that the uh spinach will be but uh oh i have 
way too much just junk on my, in my on my personage. Oh, this is not happening. Okay, so I have my tofu, I have my mushrooms, I have my dough, and I have my spinach. Let's make some killer food. And it worked. Beef Wellington feast. All right. Now let's uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Let's see. What else do I want to get rid of? Uh, I got lots to get rid of. But the Beef Wellington is a 8 shank, 10 saturation food. So, boom. I am now stuffed. And that will last a while. So now I can stop eating toast. I can stop worrying about food in any way, shape, or form. And... Uh, there you have it. Beef Wellington. The easy way to make a mushroom farm that doesn't require a dark room. The quick solution by spending two emeralds to buy a market to get your tofu. Some copper or copper? I think it was copper. I don't think it was bronze for the presser. Let's look it up. Uh, the presser was... You can do it with iron, but you can do it also with bronze. I was misremembering the copper. But there you go. It's, it's a couple of pistons and some bronze. You take your uh, soybean, you run it through three times. The first time it becomes uh, soy milk, then it becomes silky tofu, and then it becomes firm tofu. Firm tofu is what you can use for beef wellington. And there you have it. Um, an endless supply of awesome food. Food. And, oh, another thing, the Super Builder's Wand. The Builder's Wand recipe has been added back in by Jaded Cat. Enough people, I think, made a reasonable, reasonable plea for the fact that this is a very useful tool in Skyblock without actually breaking the game. The only thing it does is help speed you along slightly safely. Now... The Super Builder's Wand, you know, two diamonds and an obsidian. Uh, by the time you have two diamonds, you already have the ability to create obsidian. So the two diamonds and the obsidian, very easy to do. Now, the Super Builder's Wand takes two ingots worth of platinum, shiny. Uh, melt it down, pour it over the wand, and now you have the Super Builder's Wand. The Super Builder's Wand works like... A dream. Um, I do not have. I'm gonna go downstairs and grab some. And grab some cobblestone. Super builders. The the builders wand will give you uh, one row or one grid of nine to place. The super builders wand will place a lot more than that. So once you have obtained your Super Builder's Wand, again, it makes platforming so much easier. Uh, matter of fact, as you can see since the last episode, I've grown this section out immensely. I did finally harvest up all of my uh, crystals, Cirrus Quartz, my Fluix Quartz, my Fluix Crystals, and my pure nether quartz. Um, let's see, F7. Yeah, that one is still, still lit well enough that I haven't had any spawns. But uh, yeah, the few times that I've gotten spawns were from that, uh, that one spot that was open over there. I created, I probably already showed you this, but I have a, uh, because I have all the extra lava, I went ahead and made a obsidian generator just put the uh, servo down there, throw it into the high mode on the control, throw the switch, and it'll sit there and crank them out as fast as it can pump them in. Uh, I came over here and it had one stack, maybe a couple extra. I'm already up to almost two stacks. So I'll go ahead and kill that. So I have more obsidian than I'm going to need in a while. Uh, let's see, what else have I done? Um, 
not a whole lot. I still have not gone to the nether. I told you I was not going to do that until uh, I took you with me. And let's see. I cleaned up a little bit of the functionality over here. This, like I said, is now where I will take my dusts. Uh, if I want extra, for example, combined materials like uh, Electrum, I will take and, com and, and stagger some, which I did recently. I just got rid of a stack of silver and a stack of gold, and I put them in here in like eight, 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 and, and just toggled them on and off. So as it pulled them out, they were some getting mixed down in below and then being dumped out as Electrum. Uh, my little experiment that I ran caused this to fill up, and I am now overflowing on these two and behind on behind on my uh, gravel. So I'm going to go ahead and dump a couple. Oh, what is happening here? Okay, I have. Okay, this solar panel is not keeping up. That is not good. So let me go ahead and put a solar panel 2 on there instead. I pulled the solar panel 2 off of it because I didn't think I needed it. And I was wrong. It happens sometimes. And... Okay, solar panel's obviously not going to pull in any power at night, so let's go see if sleeping through the night will clear that up. Um, hmm, that was a surprise. I really thought it was generating enough power to, or I thought that the auto packager was using a little enough power that it was a non-problem. Let me rephrase that. Yeah, now it's got plenty of juice that it is <laughs> achieving. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. And there we go. Now it's flying. All right. That should have stuff coming back in. There we go. Yeah. Now it's cleaning up. All right. So uh, 13 and 13. And I have some of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so that will help things out a bit. Get me back on track. And let's see. Yeah, these have been shutting off because they've got no room to put stuff. I'll probably put more speed upgrades on these. Not that I expect it to make that much of a difference. I'm already producing more material than I need. I um, do not have enough string, so I've run a couple of uh, trees and thrown silkworms in it. And you already know how well the bone crook works for that. And I'm back. I just had a technical glitch in the way in the fact that uh, my hard drive filled up, and the pro recording program said, hey, "I'm done. You're on your own." And I really didn't catch it right off the bat, so I'd actually continued on for a few minutes, talking about something wonderful. Uh, I told you about my mushroom farm. I told you that my tree farm doesn't always keep up and there's some proof right there. But what I did do, uh, and I had intended to do it on camera, but it's all gone now, was I made my first beef wellington. Um, I made the uh, made the beef wellington and I made my dough and I already had you know the salt, which I just used up and I made the mixing bowl. And now I'm all depressed because I didn't get to share it with you. Well, well, maybe next time. But, nonetheless, Beef Wellington is a thing. And, again, you look at it, eight shanks of, of food, ten saturation. You can see I've been at it just a little bit <laughs> since I did it. And uh, no more toast for me. That's the good thing. All right, so um, this is going to be a relatively short episode. I didn't really get anything 
accomplished towards the goal of Batania. You see I cleared out a bunch of this still. I'm still going to cut out a little more in here. The stream will stay put. Um, yeah. I, I originally was thinking I was going to do another plant, you know, farm over here, but this stuff is just taking over and I'm not happy about this. Um, yeah, not good. I don't know if that is because it's blocked off by stone here, but it's not over there. So I don't know what I'm going to do over here. I was originally talking about the fact that I was going to clean this up. Um, string is not something that I'm getting much of from my mob spawner. It's only too wide, so spiders don't spawn inside of it. And so I still do this occasionally to stockpile up on some string, at least for now. And when I put together my uh, mob spawner smokestacks, then I think it'll be... Uh, I think it'll be a, a different scenario entirely. I won't need to do this ever again. I probably don't need to do it now. I think I've got enough, got enough string that uh, I'm more or less set. I think I've got two or three stacks. I know that, yeah, eventually I'll need more, but by then I should have, uh, yeah, I now have a little over two stacks. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to make myself a couple more of these monster chests that allow me some... Wow. Well, allow me large quantities of storage. Um, you didn't see, the, unless you watched my red versus blue bit, then you won't see that I got some 15 by 10 chests which I created with the... Uh, this is the compact storage mod and when you have it set for that it takes four chests 16 iron 16 iron bars and four clay and you can set the color to whatever you want it's standard hexadecimal so if you put in if you want black you just go in with zeros oops would help if I actually hit zero huh and as you can't see it, <laughs> believe it or not, it's there. <laughs> so if I go in with ones, it'll be very dark gray. Uh, you're still not going to see it. There you go. Twos are starting to show. There you go. There's threes. So uh, you can make yourself any color you want. You can also switch it over for it to be a backpack. So you can make... Uh, uh, a backpack similar to, if not the same value here. You know, you can make it six columns by nine rows. But it will not be uh, reincarnating. But you can put it inside of the reincarnating. So you can store containers inside of containers. And that is one way to get from point A to point B. And my tree farm is still continuing to plug away. How am I doing for mushrooms? Uh, 47 and 20. It was at 30 before I grabbed them to make my beef wellington. Uh, I'm going to clean up this mess. I don't even want to see it anymore. It's going to end up being an annoyance to me if I leave it this way. And I am going to go ahead and cut it short here. I'm going to be fighting with a new bit of... Uh, video software, video editing software in order to get this all uh, <laughs> all one continuous episode for you. And next episode, it is my intent to get more than a little serious about Batania um, or my mob farm or <laughs> or the nether or something. Nah, I'll probably work on the work on, on the starting startup of Batania. The early stages of it are pretty basic, pretty easy. Getting yourself rolling with Batania is not that difficult. If there is a different mod you want to see, uh, let me know. I am recording these things a few days in advance. So uh, speak up and I will be happy to start focusing on something that you want to see. And before long, I should probably harvest up that. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and 
call it an episode at this point. Thank you very much. I'm glad that I fixed the audio, and I'm glad that I figured out that I'm going to run out of hard drive space if I don't move my files around. And uh, above all, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate likes. I appreciate even dislikes. I want to know what you like or don't like about my channel. Um, and I appreciate the comments. Uh, I had one commenter that I created an entire series on, Red versus Blue, based on some questions that he had and a conversation that we had. So jump in, participate, and uh, hopefully we can all have some fun with this. Then again, thank you very much. Have a good evening and goodbye.